All right, y'all. Uh, so we got ourselves the inside of the cranium right here. Uh, this is the Circle of Willis. And what's so cool about the Circle of Willis is that, well, blood's got to get into the brain. And we probably don't want that blood to, you know, stop going to the brain. Because in case you don't know, that would be bad. So what we have here is a circle of blood vessels. And this circle of blood vessels is going to allow it so that if one portion of this system gets cut off or has a shunt or has a stroke, then the rest of the circle can help circulate that blood to the portions of the brain that would have otherwise been cut off, which again would be bad. So, Circle of Willis. There's two places that I'd like for you to start. One, this big trunk of blood vessel right here, blood vessel right there. Okay, this is now blood that is entering the brain through the internal carotid, internal carotid. The other location that blood enters the brain is actually through the foramen magnum, magnum, not bad. Okay, and this is coming up through the side over here that I, you can't see because, you know, um, you can't see it. But nonetheless, this is the vertebral artery. Okay, it's coming up through those vertebral foramen into the foramen magnum and then passes underneath the hindbrain and ends up feeding the entire brain stem. Pretty darn important flow of blood right there, right? So vertebral artery on either side, left and right, feeds into this single branch called the basilar or basilar artery, B-A-S, basilar. Okay, the basilar is going to come up and it's going to branch. It's going to go left and it's going to go right. And these arteries are going to go feed the back of the brain, the occipital portion of the brain. This is the posterior aspect of the brain. So therefore, this is the posterior cerebral artery. Okay, so you're going to go feed the back of the cerebrum. Posterior cerebral artery. Posterior cerebral artery. Okay, the next major branches are up here. And they're going to go feed the middle of the cerebrum, the temporal lobes and portions of the parietal. So this is going to be the middle cerebral artery and way up here okay branching up here is going to go feed the anterior portions of the brain so that's your anterior cerebral artery well this now all needs to have blood supply that helps connect all of these major cerebral arteries and they're going to do this by these little communicating arteries right here and right here so the posterior cerebral artery feeds into the middle cere uh, cerebral artery via the posterior communicating artery. There's one there and there's one there. Whereas the middle cerebral artery and the branch that comes off of it is the anterior cerebral artery, the middle cerebral artery and the anterior cerebral artery, artery these guys communicate via this tiny little bridge right here okay that little bridge is the anterior communicating artery okay that's all you guys need to know for the circle of willis uh hopefully this was helpful draw it out yourself and label because ultimately writing the words down is how you guys are going to be answering these lab practical questions ciao